Morning, Junior Squads. We are what we're doing. It's Wednesday, so we've got card game, but before we get to card game, we're going to do some doors of pressing to sit back just while I check your logins. So, I hope you had a good couple of days. You've got to put in a good shift now, guys, because Ryan and Lewis are watching you. Right, uh, doors of pressing to sit back, hands together, start. And then every time you sit back, spread your hands a bit further apart and turn your thumbs up. Morning Liv, how are you today? And morning Harry. How are you doing today Ruby? And last one, try and lift your hands up while you're doing the the uh, sit back. Second one, we're going to do archer stretch. So on your back, and see if your knee can get any closer to the floor. Bit of a struggle, but that's why we're doing it as a warm up. So you've got to make a decision basically. You've got to keep your knee really low and your shoulder won't make it. Or your shoulder can make it and your knee ends up really high. But ideally you want to find a balance between the two. So you're working, you're mobilizing your upper body and your hips. So when you get to this position, try and push your hand into the ground and then pull your knee down to the floor as well. Get another couple of good mornings. Good morning, Clelia. Uh, morning, Joe. Um, curtsy lunge. So up on your feet, guys. So we're going to play with the foot placement today. It's easier if you start with your feet really far apart like this. So you can stay up really tall, get a little bit of stretch in your hips. If you do four on one side, then we'll swap. But try and build up to having your feet really close. So basically, this, the taller you stay with your feet close, the more you're gonna look, it's gonna feel like a pigeon stretch on that front leg. So if you swap over. Stay tall if you lean forward while you do it. If you take some of it away, you just need to get your Back knee down, or your front knee is going to cross your body. Your forward knee side, do what you want with your hands, just for balance. Then we'll move into C march, to standing up. And then you have to use your core to stop your shoulders shif uh, shuffling side to side. So as you're doing this, we're going to make sure that you don't lean like an ankle tap. How are you doing today, Dylan? Swap sides. If you're struggling, you can do it against. So use the wall. Lean into something. That means I can't shuffle that way. And the other thing to worry about is getting your foot out round to the side of the breaststroke. So if you do, kids that have done football and they'll close the gate, if you don't turn your foot, you're just gonna kick the roller over. Your foot has to go all the way around. Second last, so the shoulder taps, sit on each side. That's all right, Luke, we're still doing the warm up. No, not late at all. Okay, so shoulder taps, six on each side. Just spend a couple of seconds on one, or one hand. And just make sure that your back stays flat and controlled. So when you go up to one hand, make sure that you don't just start to round because you're pushing too much. And then we'll finish off with burpee get ups. How are you doing today, Zach and Megan? So on your stomach, hands and feet just off the floor. 
And then on my cue, go. Slow down. A little speed up. So ready, go. Last one, ready, go. Much better. Right, it's a card game. I'm gonna find my cards. Right there, make sure you're taking drinks as well. I'm gonna have to make one when we finish the game. So, last round, second last round, I guess, of a live card game. Get a little shuffle. Make sure they're all facing the right way. Okay, so then we'll start with six toe taps in three, two, one, go. Five, six, remember, make sure your knees stay straight. One squat, so squats are diamonds, hearts are jumps. So five more jumps. Set of diamonds, so squat. Five, six, seven. Five more toe touches. So with these toe touches, make sure your back stays straight as well. So you might not get all the way, but you can try and reach a bit further each time. Then into seven. Single dead bugs, no, double dead bugs. These warm ups are as much for me as they are for you. And seven into four jumps. Oh no, stop, We're, we've overrun. Too much fun. So we'll start the second round with four jumps. In three, two, one, go. Into two death bugs, a single arm and leg this time. Three toe touches. Two more toe touches. One dead bug. So double. Four squats. Try and get your feet wide and narrow. So narrow you won't go so far down without rounding. And then relax. Side things were balanced on time there. One more one minute round. Hey, how you doing this one, Nancy? Round three in two, one. Go, six toe touches. Five, six into one jump. Into six dead bugs. A single arm and leg. Make sure your lower back stays flat on the ground. If it arches, then just uh, cut the range. So you go halfway like that. Six jumps. Into four dead bugs. And stop. That's it. So main session. Again, we're pretty much on a deload all week. So we're just trying to see how much fitter you've got since the, the first round of videos. Almost five months ago, five, yeah, five months ago, this week. So everything you're doing should feel pretty comfortable. So you've got compass balance, uh, that's six on each side, bear crawl, dips, single leg row, divers, and then Superman memory game. So remember for the memory game, if you start putting comments in there, I'll just break them up and we'll go through whatever combos 
you want to throw her away. So, get ready then, compass balance. If you have a, like a little ball or a bag and you want to try with a bit of weight, you can do. But, we're just looking to see how much range you can get with your foot flat on the floor. So, in three, two, one, go. So, point one, two, three, four, five, six, switch over. Remember, you're looking forward the whole time. Try to make sure you keep your back flat. So if holding something out in front means you're round, just leave it, concentrate on depth. Then we're going bear crawl. Eight reps, nice pause in between, go with the roller on your back if you want. In, two, one, go. Control and quiet. If you imagine trying to be like a ninja bear, more really quiet, you have to control yourself in your land instead of going like. Then into dips. So eight, support them however you need to. Just make sure they feel good and your technique's really good, uh, solid. Two. One, go. If you manage to get to eight too quick, if you're so strong that you can just fire them out with good form, slow them down a little bit. And just make sure if you want to bed to a pull ups, push ups, sorry, you're obviously pointing behind you the whole time. I should follow my own advice, really. And stop. Then you've got single leg row. In, two, one, go. So four reps on each leg. Then make sure you don't throw your face up when you pull. Keep your shoulders pulled down towards your hips. At least you want to put them in your pockets. And that's eight. Moving on to divers. So you're going to dive into a reverse lunge in three, two, one, go. So with your streamlining, make sure your hands match the position they'll be during your stroke. So breast strokers, no overlapping and pulling, hands side by side. In fact, everyone should give it a try at least because it's much harder. So if I overlap and pull, it's much simpler to get here or there. Arms are in a great position. But if you have them side by side without overlapping, switch feet. Uh, 
That's when I start trying to cheat and throw my neck forward. So while you're there, hands side by side like this, try and reach, the harder you reach for the ceiling, the more you'll find you stretch. And relax. That started off well. And my neck just creeped forward. So, moving on to the last one. Superman memory game. No comments, so let's make them up. Three, two, one, go. So, three, four, one, four. Three, four, one, four. Two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, one, two. And stop. So less combos to make them a little bit longer. Break. And then we'll go back into compass lounge. Make sure you're taking drinks. And we'll go compass lounge in three, two, one, go. Okay, thanks Dylan, I'll break it up for second round. Make sure you don't collapse, I'm a little cheat there. So, in five, and then six. So the slower you do this, the harder your knee and ankle have to work to keep you stable. And then stop. So with a reverse one, it's actually easier to just go into a reverse lunge. But instead, you're trying to reach as slowly as you can. And just before you fall down, tap the ground and come back up. Second exercise we're doing is bear crawl. So a lot more stability work. Two, one, go. Try and be silent when you put your hands down, no noise. In to dip next, so we've got some rest time. Just gotta get them ready. So, three, two, one, go. So, I know they're wonky, it means you walk your shoulders harder if you have to turn your hands out more. And the same as the push-ups, if you're struggling with dips, just start from the ground, get your shoulders and neck in a good position. Is that still too much? Kneel on something so you're a bit higher up. So mine's going backwards a little bit because I tried to demo frog stands for longer than I was ready for. So I felt good one day, tried to do a frog stand, and now it's bad again. So that's why we're always telling you guys, let us know if there's problems and we can help you with them. So single leg row. Two. 
In three, two, one, go. Stop. So remember, you want to keep your hips and your chest flat like you're a table and you're just pulling yourself up. Don't let your belly button race ahead of you. Into divers. In two, one, go. So if you can't reach that full breaststroke streamline, just go as far as you can and start practicing. So for me, it's gonna mean pausing at the bottom of each, reaching for the ceiling, and then waiting for the minute that my head starts to creep forward and then stopping. So your body starts to learn what you want from it. What you could do, if you've got something high enough, just try and walk into that position with support. So if I go single leg diver, so in that position there, back's flat, arms are where I need them to be, but they're relaxed. So I'm going to start pushing down to try and earn that range. Switch legs. So do them normally, if you don't have this. So what you find, all those muscles start to really tighten up because they don't want to be there. Just stop. Then we'll finish off with memory game. So if that happens to you, it means you've got to do a lot more foam rolling and mobility work. So three, Two, one, let's go. So three, three, four. Four, two. Then two, one, three, four. And then we'll look backwards. So four, three, one, two. Two, four, three, three. and then stop. So last round then, back into compass balance. Thanks for that, Dylan. In three, two, one, let's go. The stability here, go a little bit slower than you do normally. If you rush them, you just fall over. If you go slow, your muscles can squeeze and hold you. You get a bit more range. Six. You can lean forward a little bit, as long as your back stays straight. see if you can get as much reach for the same amount of reach on both legs sorry and stop bear crawl
little rest and bear crawl in two, one, go. Five, six, seven, eight. So if you're in a position where having two feet on the ground means just like shaking a little bit, you're working at just the right level. Into dips. In three, two, one, go. And if you're struggling, so if last round you stood at the bottom and pushed up, round three maybe try and fork and slowly and then stand up. Unless your elbow's pointing out to the side, then just support yourself as much as you need to. to a single leg row. In two, one, go. If you start to struggle with a single leg, just go on two. Now when you pull, don't let your belly button rush ahead. Try and aim your elbows down like this. So it's like you're trying to push them towards the floor. Then squeeze the bar. And then stop. Into divers. Three, two, one, go. So if you're still struggling with that breaststroke streamlining position with your hands, just go with whichever position you're comfortable with. So you're getting in the lunges. Just maybe when you come out of that lunge, keep both your feet down so it's more like a split squat. So you can focus on the timing. So you get a lot more upper body mobility. And switch sides. How are you looking today, Luke? I definitely feel a lot more stable than they used to, but the upper body works a lot harder. This means they need more upper body mobility work. So leave that there. And Spider Man memory game, finish off. So three combos in two, one, go. So, one, two, three, two, four, four, one, four, two, four, three, four. And stop. So that's it, session two done. Bit of mobility work, so grab your foam roller. We'll go through quads. Remember, if you're feeling sore, you want to give yourself as much body weight support as you can. So, hands and feet on the floor to start all of them. So, even the one that you're rolling, like your angle, because then from there you've got a lot of control. 
that might feel too easy. So if you bend your knee, so again, in particular, if you think breaststrokers, you want to keep your hips flat. You've got to try and lift your heels up without lifting your knee towards the bottom of the pool. So your quads have to be quite mobile for that. So actually doing your rolling this way is going to help you achieve that position more. So you're slowly rocking your foot side to side. Then we're going to switch legs to see if that feels different to when you sort of go backwards and forwards like this. So open hip position. You're off the fly, Luke. Where are you heading? Or are you doing a fly, uh, the fly clinic? Either way, you're very welcome, and we'll see you Friday for the last live one. Okay, then we're going to do hamstring. So it's straight leg raise hold. Test it with your hands on the ground. And then grab the back of your knee. Do a couple of them like this. Just let to relax your nerves. Switch side and we'll retest after. So test. Do the work. So make sure your knee is always pointing at the ceiling. Don't pull so hard that it's up here. Just keep it over your, your hip. And then we'll retest. So back here. Still feels really tight, but it's a little bit straighter. Then hip. So shin box, fly clinic. Oh, nice. Have fun with that. I've been hearing some really good feedback from everyone that's been to them so far. So well done. Other side. Remember, you don't have to do the lifting part. It's quite a complex stretch, especially if you're mobile anyway. I think at the start of the videos, I said some of the people watching the junior videos, you're going to be too mobile, too flexible to appreciate these stretches now. But if you know what they are, I think if you're maybe at a competition and you feel a little bit of a niggle, these are some of the little movements you can try and do to calm your body down. So as long as you know what it should look like, if you maybe think your hip feels weird, it's not sore, you try and do things like this and see if that changes anything for you. Because to be fair, if you don't know what they are, this is all I'm going to show you anyway. Uh, then we're going to go into lats. Unless I became a physio or, or got x-ray vision so I could see exactly what the problem was. These, these are all the tools that you can use to take ownership for your training. Make sure you're recovering properly. And then make sure the coaches aren't asking you to do something that you physically can't do on the day. And that's the main thing. The amount of conversations I have where people tell me that like their shoulder hurts today, but it's been sore for a week or two and they could just manage, they could get through the set, so they didn't say anything. And actually it could have been really simple, like a bit of rolling could have sorted that out, maybe. But you don't wanna, you don't wanna be in a position where you keep quiet, don't say anything, and then end up having to miss training for, for a few weeks. And as long as you're honest about it, if you're the kind of person that shows up in time and is coachable, then coaches are gonna, you're going to build that trust with your coach. No one's going to think that you're trying to slack or cheat your way out of hard work, as long as they know that that's not in your character. So second lap. Remember, you can throw in some shoulder work here as well. So lying on your side. Oh. 
Okay, you're welcome, Claudia. Glad to be doing it for you. Hope you're uh, you're managing to stay stay entertained in quarantine. But we're looking forward to having you back. All the same. Then chest. So on the ground. In the small circles. Try and rotate. So whichever side your chest is lying on, you want to try and twist away. Don't let the arm sit flat. Ooh. And then make small deliberate circles with your hand off the floor. Switch sides. Again, it's been weird with some of these videos because for you guys this might be a little bit too much information, but you're very receptive to what we teach you. So consider it planting seeds. So hopefully one day you, you guys might be at counties or regionals. Your shoulder might feel a bit weird after a, after a, a swim down. You can grab your foam roller, try some bits, and then go and talk to your coaches. Right, that is that. Have a great day. Thank you for watching live. If anyone needs anything, you know where to find me. And we'll see you Friday at 8. So, ta-ta for now.